It is pretty apparent to me that growl error basing is not where it used to be. But for this video, we're going to be saying that growl error basing is in a crisis. If you're in the top percent of basing gangs, you got an in. And you're probably thinking that, that I'm crazy or, you know, maybe you agree. If you aren't in the top percent of gangs while basing, then you might understand this video. One of the best parts of playing growl growing up was basing without a doubt. But not this basing. I mean, who here remembers when you could go to start, recruit random people you have never met in your entire life, grow a big gang, go to lethal, and take the base for some basing time? Like, this was on another level of fun. I even remember starting with a gang. Now, it wasn't mine, but I started with a gang, and we totally took over. In one week, we got 30 total hours. Now, in today's basing, 30 hours is practically nothing. Like, some gangs get that in one single day. But at that point in time, 30 hours in one week, that was legendary. It felt cool and it, you know, it felt fun. Not only are you gaining time, but gaining friends and loyal members. It's everything that represents Growl's experience. Getting together with people you've never met, meeting new friends, and participating in some fun and thrilling activities. Taking lethal, especially with a group of random people with different type of skill sets, was so fun, you know, it was thrilling, it was exciting. You would rush into the OG lethal flag room where it was just chaos with your crab daggers, your kiwi blades, all of that fun stuff. And you would just hit it until you could potentially get the flag. I'm being dead serious, that was literally peak amount of fun. Now, let me just say that if you are in this top percentage of gangs right now, this is not a shot at you because you've done nothing wrong. You're just at the end of the day, you know, well, trying to take a base. Today's basing consists of shifts, gatekeeping, no risks, and an occasional war. Once again, this isn't me calling people out because that's the last thing I want to do here. I want you and Hope share a nostalgic feeling and maybe, you know, see if there's a solution. Anyways, shifts have become the killer of fun of this game's basing scene. Don't get me wrong, you can still go recruit random people and take a base, and hey, maybe you might get a few hours, but the most likely outcome of you taking a base is... well... A Discord ping calling 20 plus people on to ruin all your fun. And it's not their faults, they're just holding their shifts. But for the vast majority of gangs who don't have a shift, this concept is kind of... boring. You could say it's a skill diff or get better, and to that I'd say, yeah, you bet it is. <laughs> the top gangs are better. Better players, better weapons, better skill by a long shot. But that's not the point. Players and gangs want to feel that excitement of basing but can't do to shifts. And to get a shift, that's a crazy and unlikely event. Possible, but for the average Joe team, yeah, it's gonna be pretty hard. For those of you wondering what a shift is, it's essentially think about it like a job. You show up at 7 a.m. and then you're basing to about 3 p.m. Or whatever times you, your gang may have. The goal is to get every second of your shift for basing time. And if anybody tries to take the base from you, like for example the average Joe team who just wants to have some fun, they are met with discord pings and blacklistings. It's not fun for the average Joe team. And just like that average team, for the gangs that have the shifts, it's not that fun either. The players, for the most part, aren't even having a good time. Most of the time, if you walk into a base mid-shift, you're going to see five people, and most of them, if not all of them, are AFK. But why? Shifts have turned into a job, or I could honestly describe it as a chore. It sucked the fun out of the basing scene. Times where it was fun to get a group of people and go try to take a base has turned into, ugh, I have to log back on now. You might be asking, how do I know this? I experienced it firsthand. Back when I had my shoulder surgery, I couldn't work for three weeks. So I played Growl. And I joined the gang with some friends that had a shift. We held the base from like 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. if I'm not mistaken. And I was on for about seven of those hours every day because I had to just sit in bed and I could play on my phone. I was so excited the first two days about holding a base. But then what I found out was you just sit there. You AFK. I didn't know what to do. You'd have the occasional PK gang come in and start wiping you all out. But they didn't even want to take the base. They just wanted the PKs. After a few weeks, I was already burnt out. And not because I was doing it so much. is because there was nothing to do at all. Occasionally, a gang would hop on, take the base, get the Discord ping, 25 members log on, take it back. Then that was it. It was nothing new, nothing exciting. The excitement basing gangs feel is from wars, which don't happen all that often. Something I noticed while basing a bunch was that when a war would happen, everyone was hyped. For the first few minutes, until we had five ally gangs holding one base and you just spammed. 
That's not all the times though, because sometimes it was pretty exciting, there was a lot going on, so you're constantly on edge. But like, honestly, I mean, it's the way the game, so I can't complain all that much. These wars, when they happen, cause a lot of excitement, for the top percentage of gangs. I should say. Once again, if you aren't a top percenter, then you are excluded. Sure, you can join a gang and help out, but it's just not how it used to be. The basing is gatekept from your average players, and once again, not the gang's fault. Not the player's fault, it's just the natural evolution of this game. Truth hurts sometimes. Now let me talk to you about something that adds to this basing crisis. What you totally can do is gain 25 loyal members who all have very good weapons, and you could grow, it's definitely possible. However, this is where things get a little bit tough. Remember at the beginning of the video when I said there is no risks taken? Because these gangs put you in those spots. What I mean by that is, quite literally, you can't enter some bases. For example, while I was streaming, I got a bunch of people to come take a base with me, right? And we were just doing it for fun. We would take the base and then we would leave. The amount of messages I got from leaders off the stream when it ended saying stuff like, don't ever come back to this base. We will all unsubscribe if you ever come back here and take it again. It's like, it's, it's crazy. And also another story, whenever I was basing with that one gang and picking up shifts, I gained kind of a few ranks, I think rank number three. And anytime I would want to go PK or have fun basing with some friends, I would get messages from these leaders saying, hey, make sure you don't go to that base. You're going to cause a war. Now, don't get me wrong, I, I fell into the trap. I, I definitely didn't do it. The risks weren't taken. It used to be, no matter who you were, you were just going to have fun with friends. And people would recognize that. If you were loyal to one gang, and then your friends one day were just like, yo, come hop with us, we're just going to go base, and then you accidentally take that base, most of the time it was just trolly and just like a little bit of trash talk, but that's it. But now it's quite literally, don't enter this base, we will start wars if you even come close to this area. And honestly, that's pretty discouraging. Now, what can be done? Because honestly, I think it's the way it is right now, unfortunately, and I don't know if it's going to change. The evolution of this game has made it that way. And for the 100th time, this is not the gang's or the player's faults. Because honestly, they're just simply playing. For a potential solution, it's kind of a long shot, but it's just a concept. Imagine a few new bases are made, but your gang could only enter if you had under 100 hours then it would progress to 500 and so on. Yeah, some existing gangs on the come up could abuse that, but there's always a chance that could spark a new player interest, right? I don't know, to be honest, it's, it's just an idea that would probably still have its issues, but I guess it'd be like that. I'd love to hear your opinions and ideas on this topic in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the basing crisis on Growlera. Anyways, if you enjoyed today's discussion, please do me a favor and press that like button, and since you're right there, press that sub button, it is free. I will see you all very, very soon. Hope you have a good one. Peace.